peeps good to have you once again yeah it's a great day and today i i, I just want to talk about heaven something very sensitive something we are all looking forward to i mean a place we are all looking forward to to go uh, at the end of our our uh, existence on earth you know we've been fed this narrative of heaven of hell there's a place called heaven where uh the streets are, are made of gold and silver and platinum and you know a whole lot of concepts about this heaven and it's really causing some serious 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 imbalance on our planet today and it's really really sad now yeah, it's so crazy to see how religions have missed it and caused chaos and hell on this planet um with this so much awaited um heaven of a thing instead of religions finding a way to make our world a better place and the paradise by setting up conducive conditions on earth by the way of unconditional love for all life they are rather getting seriously preoccupied with some unending preparations of going to one heaven a concept the colonial masters sold to us through their orchestrated religion ah the present is all that matters there is no any futuristic heaven somewhere start realizing your god self that's a heaven that's the heaven. Start realizing your God self. The kingdom is on the inside of you. Loving all life and treating every human as though they were God and you are already in heaven. Most humans point up, point up to the sky, <laughs> point up to the sky, you know, thinking and saying to themselves, that's where God lives. Mm. Mm. That's where God lives. Okay. Now let's think. If a planet spins at about 1000 miles per hour then how can you or how can anyone determine the true position of any point on the planet at any given time think about that how do you measure where heaven is at any given time in a fast rotating planet think about that how do you determine where you are i mean where you are standing at any given time in a planet that spins at a thousand miles per hour okay how do you arrive at knowing who's up when you don't even know where where is up but just keep pointing up saying <laughs> okay many believers of religion have conceived in their mind the idea of a monarchical big sky daddy with a thunderous voice sitting on a throne somewhere up there and ruling the affairs of mankind from heaven after all, their book says the earth is his foot too. To most believers, heaven is one geographical location. Now, let me ask you. Do you know the earth already, the earth you are in now already sits in the heavens? Do you know that all the planets are referred to as heavenly or celestial bodies? And if the earth is one of the planets, and a life supporting one for that matter then it means we are already in the best heaven don't you think so so i wonder which heaven you are looking up to you know which heaven are you looking up to go when you are already in a great one uh to many religions heaven means different things to some it's a some form of paradise to some, it's a place of some musical jamboree and, and hallelujah shouting forever. To some, it's a place of some sexual galore of, of a sort. A place where they get to acquire plenty of virgins that they are willing to blow themselves up for on earth. <laughs> and to some, it's a place of some eternal banquet of some sort. There are over 4,200 religions on this planet with each of them having their own version of heaven and everyone claiming their heaven as the right one. Hmm. Only God, God can tell. <laughs> so which one is the right heaven? See what religious beliefs and doctrines have reduced humans to? We just believe what we are told by all these religions without thinking or questioning. 
you know, what has been handed down to us, we just take without reasoning, without questioning. We don't make the effort to know, but just believe and have blind faith. When shall we begin to take the effort to know, to replace no with belief or faith? Now, they lie to us and keep enslaving us and say our reward is in one future heaven that doesn't exist. The time is now. Forget the lie of a future heaven. It doesn't exist. We are already existing as eternal beings. Eternity is now. The eternal now is all that matters. What we are doing in the present to our fellow human being is all that matters. Let's start doing the right thing now. 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 Let's start loving ourselves and treating ourselves right now. Okay? Heaven and, and hell are no geographical locations. You hear that? They are simply states of being, states in which you can live. You don't have to die to start experiencing these states. They are states you experience while in the human body, depending on the choice you make. So, the choice is yours. Which choice are you making? That's what will determine whether you are in hell or in heaven. You don't need to wait for one fire sometime in the distant future uh, to go to hell or something. Right now, if this is what your belief is structured around, I'm sorry, you might be in hell already. Imagine all this out of you. Imagine the splendor, the heavenly feel, the, the joy, the ecstasy, the bliss. The bliss that is there for you to experience. Only if you look into yourself and become thyself. Become thyself. Become thyself. And you'll see. Okay. Until I come your way again. Have a blissful and an ecstatic life. Bye.